Sometimes people gotta make hard videos like this. Sometimes you gotta do what you have to do. I'm watching the MLB uh, playoffs. This is my life story. And I will guarantee you it's not gonna be a good one because if you wanna listen, stay tuned. And yeah. Here we go. So I was born on July 29, 2001, uh, with a half a heart, left hypoplastic, single ventricle. Um, so only like this part, like it. I have like a, like this part of the heart, and then this part I don't. The doc, I forget what the doctor said. I don't know what the doctor said, but I remember I had my full surgery. <laughs> Within two weeks. The doctor thought I wasn't going to make it till six or five, something like that. But here I am right now. Um, I remember it was tough. I know that because I was in hospital the first two years of my life. And honestly... kind of hard for me to t- tell you this. Turning noises outside. Anyway, it's kind of hard for me to tell you this. But, I also have a tube. And, it's G-tube feeding because I don't eat that much. So, um, anyway, um, so like I said, I was in uh, a hospital for two years of my life. My make-a-wish was to go to Disneyland. Or Disney World. <laughs> Disneyland is in LA. Disney World is in Orlando. So I wish to go to Dis- Well, my make a wish was to go to Disney World. So of course I went to Disney World and stuff like that. And then I think the next time I went to Disney World, I had like this leakage. Like, because I was hooked up to like technical stuff. So it's like, <clears throat> I had this like, <clears throat> oh, one of my channels was Lincoln. Leaking, that's what it was. And so, that's what happened one time. I was at Disney, so they flew me all the way back to um, Miami. Because that's the um, closest to it, um, hospital, so yeah. Alright, now we're going to get into the hot stuff, because we got to... So, my, me and my mom and my dad used to argue a lot. Wow, artists are wow. And they used to argue a lot. I remember this one time, I think it was close to my birthday, and we were hanging up birthday stuff and one stuff like that. And I think my mom, she was drinking or something, so my dad got mad. And at the time, my dad's glasses were on the table. So um, my dad got mad. He's like, Why are you drinking in this house and stuff? So. Um, cause I remember it was close to my birthday cause I had the birthday shrimp and stuff. Anyways, my dad was like, why are you like drinking and stuff like that? You know, you can't drink around me and stuff like that. And my mom just went off. She threw my dad's glasses and I think she stormed out of there. And then she killed herself. She, uh, committed suicide back in 2007. Um, that's... Wow. Um, so, yeah, and most of my time at, at school, like, I robbed my own stuff. Like, I, I had a hard time because, you know, I miss my mom and stuff like that. And, um, I was just so angry at the world. Like, how could they, like, take my mom from me? Like, why would God do this and stuff like that? So it's like, 
I got mad, so I got kicked out of East Middle because I walked home. Because I was so pissed off because kids used to pick on me and stuff like that. One kid tripped me. Um, stupid Eric, I swear I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> I swear I'm not your ass. <laughs> um, kids used to pick on me and stuff, and when I want to try to be their friend, they don't want to be friends with me. Like this one kid, his name is Kai, he plays Call of Duty. I was like, hey, I play Call of Duty too. He's like, oh, cool. And then he just walked away. So it's like, wow. But now at the school I'm at, I'm, I really like it. Cause I can get along and stuff like that. And plus I have a best friend, his name's Logan. Um, what else can I talk about? Oh, um, I had scoliosis already back in 2014. Um, for my, uh, scoliosis. Um, and I was in the hospital for a month. Came back. That's what I, that's why I always have. I've always had a never give up attitude. I mean, if they tell me um, I'm going to be out for like three months, I'll probably be out by at least two months, like a month before. Um, I am on the transplant to get a new heart. I don't know what number I'm at, but I know it will be in Boston. Don't worry. Before my surgery, I'll be taking videos in Boston. Don't worry. But I know it's going to be a long way. Um, the reason why I put that Connecticut video up is because I go to Connecticut every year because they have a picnic and stuff with kids with bad hearts. Um, what else? That's just basically it. Oh, yeah. The most recent stuff I've done. Conquered my feel. Smoked weed. Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking U double G Snoop Dogg. <laughs> but yeah, I did smoke weed and uh, let's just say I'll never do it again. <laughs> I be stonal. <laughs> Anyways, um, like I said, um, just basically part of my life. I mean, it's been so many downs and instead of ups, and it's like. Sometimes, like, wish for bad stuff not to happen, but sometimes it will happen. And I think, like I told Mr. Candelosi, the reason why I have a strong connection with the movie Hook because of my mom. My mom bought it for me, so, yeah. I just... That's okay. There's something creepy out there. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.